Let's take a look now for a risk event for the week starting Monday the 5th of December and we're looking ahead to Wednesday and the Bank of Canada meeting. It meets for the last time uh, this year for its monetary policy session. Uh, at its last meeting in October, the bank raised rates by 50 basis points to three and three quarter percent. Economists had been expecting a 75 basis point increase. Let's take a look at what the governor, Tiff Macklin, has been saying, because he reiterated last week that if we don't do enough, Canadians will continue to endure the hardship of high inflation and they will come to expect persistently high inflation, which will require much higher interest rates and potentially a severe recession to control inflation. He then goes on to say that if we do too much, we could slow the economy more than needed. We know that this is uh, harmful consequences for people's ability to service their debts, for their jobs and for their businesses. Let's take a look at a trade around the Bank of Canada interest rate decision next week. For this, I want to take a look at the Canadian dollar dropping against the Japanese yen. Now, this is a really good trade to do because we've got um, the appreciation in the Japanese yen now over the US dollar. And this is making itself felt in a number of different currencies. We've got the yen higher uh, in some part against the euro and sterling as well. So the yen is higher against the Canadian dollar. So we trade this by going short on the Canadian dollar against the Japanese yen. Interesting enough, we've uh, gone below this uh, rising red line here, which is the 200 day moving average. And that in itself is significant. The MACD is pointing down, indicating momentum is on the way down. So where do we go from here? 99.62, we're just closing out the prior week. So there's still a few days trade before the Bank of Canada interest rate decision. I'm interested in this purple box down here. This is the area of broad support between uh, 97.05.8 and 97.80.3. Now, if in the interim we get down to this level, I'd be then looking for a trade below this, to then take us all the way down to the lows we had back on the 24th of February, all the way down below the 90 level down here at 89.30. So to set up a short trade here, uh, your stop loss uh, would go above some of the recent price action. So your stop loss around about the 102 level. We're currently trading at 99.62. This is the area to watch out for, for sure, as we approach and get beyond that meeting with the Bank of Canada on Wednesday.